Hello and welcome again as we look at yet another question for IB Chemistry, paper 2. Today we have this particular question here dealing with topic 5, thermochemistry. And as always, if you believe you can solve this question, you should go right ahead, have a look and try to solve it. Then scroll straight towards the middle of the video where you'll find the answer to this question. And then remember to stay for a bit of extension into another topic. But if you need some guidance in solving this question, then you should stay with me for a short walkthrough and then attempt this question and have a look at your answer. So let's move in and take a closer look at a similar question and how to solve it. An enthalpy change is a change in the internal energy of a system and thermochemistry tracks these changes by looking at heat changes during Reaction. Take, for example, this simple reaction here in our coffee cup calorimeter. The coffee cup calorimeter is typically made of a polystyrene material, which is a good insulator. It's also useful to place a cover on the calorimeter. A thermometer is required, and a small stirring rod is also required. Here, we place 1.78 grams of lithium chloride into 50 milliliters of water in the coffee cup. And once this is done, it is possible to calculate the heat changes in the system. Using this equation here, where the heat changes or the enthalpy changes in the system can be found by multiplying the mass of the water in the cup, 50 milliliters, which has a mass of 50 grams, which is 0.050 kilograms. C, the specific heat capacity of water, given here as 4.18 kilojoules per kilogram per Kelvin, multiplied by the change in temperature given in Kelvin to match the Kelvin unit here in the specific heat capacity. Here we see the change was 4.5 Kelvin. Taking the product of these three values, the answer comes to 0 0.95 kilojoules. And this is the absolute enthalpy change for this reaction involving 1.78 grams of lithium chloride entering into solution in 50 milliliters of water. But the actual value for the enthalpy change of this salt going into solution must be quoted in kilojoules per mole. So it is required that we convert the enthalpy change from this 1.78 gram portion into the amount that would be generated by one mole of lithium chloride, which has a mass of 42.394 grams. So using this calculation here, we can determine that one mole of lithium chloride would release 22.4 kilojoules of energy when it enters into solution. Matching this value against the stated value in the IB Chemistry data booklet of 37.03, we note that there is a significant difference between the two values. And this, of course, is due to the built-in error in our calorimeter, our coffee cup calorimeter, which is certainly not an isolated system. And energy can be released from the system. But this type of error is described as a systematic error, for the effect is constant and always in the same direction. Always, the value that you get for the enthalpy change from the coffee cup calorimeter will be less than the actual value, and the percentage error for each time should be relatively consistent, meaning that the effect is constant and in the same direction. But before we complete these calculations, it is of utmost importance to determine the sign for this enthalpy change. And in this particular reaction, the change in temperature was positive, which means that heat was given out from the system. And because the system loses heat, enthalpy change must be negative, meaning that we must put a negative sign in front of this value for 22.4 kilojoules. So the value should be negative 22.4 kilojoules to match with the stated data booklet value of negative 37.03 kilojoules per mole for the heat of solution for lithium chloride. And now let's have a look at how to solve that question that we started off with. You get the mass of water by looking at the volume given 
and being aware that the density of water is 1, you're expected to know that 50 cm cube or 50 milliliters would be equal to 50 grams. And then you convert that, of course, into kilograms. Then the specific heat capacity of water is what you would need. That is what fills in for C. C is 4.18 kilojoules per kilogram per Kelvin. Then you need delta T, the change in temperature. One way to avoid the system that we used in the example, where we looked at the temperature rising and then we said that you have to have a negative sign because it's exothermic, a way to get away from that is to always say initial minus final. When you use that system, here it generates a negative sign. And if you have an endothermic process, it would generate a positive sign. But both ways are acceptable. And here we have the formula mass of lithium bromide. That is brought into the calculation here so that we can scale up the data that was based on 2 grams to per mole. And then with the units cancelling, we get this final answer of 35.4 kilojoules per mole. Here in red, I have the actual data booklet value, the theoretical value for this. And of course, you have to bear in mind that this is a coffee cup calorimeter experiment. And there's significant heat losses and approximations happening. And of course, chemistry is more than just mathematics. So it's very useful for you, the student. So now we're going to take a quick look at how to conduct this experiment and end up with a few more questions related to practical chemistry. And in the next lesson, we'll have a look at how to extract the data for delta T from a graph and then to plug it in to calculations involving enthalpy changes.